Hello, readers. <laughs> You're probably wondering where I've been today. And if you are astute, you guessed that our grandson came today, our son, nephew, brother, grandson came into the world on Christmas Eve at 616 this morning, weighing seven pounds, eight ounces, 21 inches long, and just perfect. <laughs> I did have the Advent book for today with me, but got really distracted by that boy, my little man that we've waited so long for. And we had to do some helping for Santa uh, today so that everything could be the way it needs to be for the children in our lives tomorrow morning. So it was quite a day and tomorrow will be another adventure, but we're going to figure out how uh, Megan and I can get together and do the video filming before we go back out to baby uh, land. <laughs> it's possible that I'll be released tomorrow to go home, uh, although that seems impossible to me. Uh, there was talk about it, um, so we'll see, but he's perfect, 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 and I will pop a photo uh, at the end of this video, just so you can take a peek at him today. So I did read a little bit on the way home, on the drive home tonight, I read a little bit of the Dutch house and I might do that tonight, although I could, you could push me over with a pin and I would fall down. I have a little glass of wine and by little, I mean not so little. <laughs> and we're sort of celebrating with spirits tonight. Um, the birth of our son. I have really bad makeup on. I slept in my clothes last night in case because we knew she was at the hospital about midnight and um, she wasn't progressing for a while. And then she began progressing and we left about 2.30 a.m. 2, 2.30 a.m. And then he was born at six. So um, I need a shower. <laughs> I needed a hat for you to be able to even stand to look at me and um, yeah, it's, it's just so wonderful. Okay, so day 24, I last smells like home. Oh, so <laughs> this might have an Outlander uh, reference. It looks like this. I just started to pull it off and then I realized I was so tired I hadn't even showed you. Last year for Christmas, I got a Sassanok candle. Megan asked me the other day if I had burned it, and I said no, because I didn't want to um, not have it. I love it so much. So let's see what this is. Smells like home. Oh! oh. <laughs> it is from the soap librarian, Lally Brock. White thyme and rosemary shower gel. Can you see it? I know the lighting. Oh, oh, that's so pretty. So let's see if it smells like lollybrock. Oh, oh. You know what I just realized? I need to take a shower. I have shower gel. It is perfect. What a perfect day for this to have arrived. Mm, I love it, love it, love it. The Soap Librarian, a library of bath products, thesoaplibrarian.com. Wonderful. I love to find a new outlet for bookish gifts. So yesterday's gift for Megan was one that really delighted her, and I knew that it would. It is the Ravenclaw Collector's Edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Um, if you haven't seen the house editions that uh, were produced in the UK last, this year, maybe, they came out this year, I'll look and see for sure. Uh, they're gorgeous. They're sprayed edges in the colors of each house. They have extra quizzes and other things inside to talk about the house, to look at some trivia around the books and the particular uh, connection to each house. And Megan is a Ravenclaw. She was sorted as a Ravenclaw, as I was as well. So I thought that would be a perfect gift for her. So she can use her Harry Potter book clips from the day before to remind her where she is in this UK edition of 
one of her favorite novels. So she was very happy and she has not yet opened her book today. So she will do that tonight. I'll share that with you tomorrow or she will. And then we will open day 25. I actually have a day 26 as well because she got an extra one. So I'm not sure what I'll do with that uh, <laughs> because admin will be over. I may just open it on the 26th and talk about my book haul. I'm not sure, but, um, now that baby came early because he was going to be induced on Friday if he hadn't arrived before then, um, my the way I was thinking I was going to spend my week has changed and certainly the way I thought I was going to spend today has changed. We even didn't get to church tonight. My oldest daughter Sarah was supposed to sing in the choir and we couldn't get back in time with all the things we needed to do. I'm not sure what we're going to eat for the next two days because we didn't get to the store, but everything's going to work out just fine. He's beautiful, healthy, happy, easy, sweet, sweet baby. Um, although my daughter-in-law said, yeah, the middle one was too, till we got her home, but we'll see how this works out. Every child's personality is different and boy, do his sisters love him. They are smitten. It is just a joy to see how happy they are. And it is a joy to see this family expand and grow in love and in commitment to each other. So I hope you're having a lovely Christmas Eve. I'll check in with you again to tomorrow on the big day, the end of Advent read a good book tonight as they do in Iceland. You can receive a book on New Year's Eve and read it all night and eat chocolate if you'd like. That's a tradition there. So I may I certainly have enough books that I've received that I can read one tonight, have some chocolate. I just got some in the mail from one of my um, the companies that I do some work with and um, I'm going to enjoy this glass of wine and definitely enjoy this shower gel in my shower. Isn't that sweet? All right. Happy, happy, happy Christmas Eve and a joyous celebration of this holiday, whatever holiday you celebrate. And while you're doing that celebrating, enjoy reading as much as you can. Thanks. Bye. Bye.